Hello, mission teams. This past Sunday in the message, Brett said that challenged us all again to be uh, to be part of the mission team, everyone to get into one, and and that's vital to seeing the vision that he cast this past fall of where we are. We we would create a church culture and organizational structure where 100% of our people are actively participating in at least one well-led, mission-focused, spiritually growing team, and the 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 vision for that is that everyone within one life is is doing just that that through a mission team they're participating in the mission of the church and growing spiritually and uh, i just want to visit a, a passage uh, from matthew from the sermon on the mount that jesus delivered to his followers uh, where he said you are the light of the world a city set on a hill cannot be hidden nor does anyone light a lamp and put it under a basket but on the lampstand and it gives light to all who are in the house let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Now there's just three principles I want to I pull out of that that Jesus was communicating that we can apply directly uh, to your mission team. And the first is, is be present. Um, that's why it was so important for us to go through the shift to get all of our uh, mission teams, life groups at the time, on mission with the church to where they identified somewhere in the community that they would be present that they would go. Uh, your light is supposed to shine before men. It can't be hidden. It, we have to go to where people are uh, and be present there as the light of Christ. But then second is to be focused. Uh, the light needs to shine into the darkness. Um, it's focused light. It's focused activity. Uh, while you're present uh, with the same people that you're identifying in your mission, uh, while you're present with them, it also needs to be very focused. You need to to be going to the same places. You need to be uh, revisiting building relationships. You need to be going into the dark places in our city and being the light that the larger church uh, maybe couldn't reach into. And then finally, plug into the source. If you remember, uh, Brett said that it's a status, that we as children of light, are, are a, it's a status that's conferred on us through the works of Jesus, not by the works that we do. But since that is us, since that is our status, we get the great gift of being the light of Christ uh, wherever we go. But we have to remember to plug in the source. So it's not all about going out. Remember that we also need to spend time together building up a Christian community, building relationships among each other, uh, studying God's word, and, and plugging into the source, uh, ultimately, that is Jesus. So um, as you think about your mission, as you think about being the light of the world, as we re revisit MOVE uh, and this idea of a city movement, be thinking about those three things. Talk about it in your mission teams. Talk about where you can be present. Uh, talk about where you can be very focused in your mission, but then never forget to draw back in and plug into the source uh, that we need to sustain the mission.